Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday to you. Today is May 27th, 2020, and we have, let's see, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, three days of school left. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and start by making our class promise. Zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine head my way. Zippity doo da, zippity a. We are in control of our body, our voice, imagination, concentration, and cooperation. Really focusing on that this week and not just doing something like that in our classroom, but really taking that and applying it not only to your life, but also school next year, making sure that you are always in control and accountable for your actions. May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and we are reading We Are Inspiring. I have been absolutely loving this book. So today, oh Lord, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce her name, but I'm going to try my best. Amanda Fing Bodhapakaya. I think that's right. She's got a long, long last name. And she was born in 1989. And she is a Thai Indonesian, Indonesian, excuse me, American artist, creative director, and neuroscientist. A neuroscientist is kind of like a brain doctor. Amanda Fing Bodhapakaya was born and raised in the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, that's the state south of us by her Thai father and Indonesian mother. She calls herself a neuroscientist turned designer. Amanda studied Alzheimer's disease at Columbia Medical Center before she switched to a career in graphic design. Her multidisciplinary art aims to bridge society and science. For example, she created Beyond Curry, an award-winning design project about the amazing yet overlooked women behind STEM research, and Atomic by Design, a fashion line for girls inspired by the 118 atomic elements elements. I almost said elephants. So remember, in Beyond Curie, Marie Curie, she was an amazing women scientist that we talked about during Women's Empowerment Month. So Amanda was inspired by Marie Curie. What a cool connection. She's been a TED main stage speaker twice and won the 2016 TED residency. I wanted to share the rich history of women driving society forward with the next generation. Very, very cool. So we were talking about the word of the month, inspire. And Amanda definitely inspires me, very similar to Teresa, who we read about yesterday, because they both just didn't do one thing. They went after and achieved a ton of different dreams. So Amanda, she was not only an artist, a creative director, a fashion designer, she was also a neuroscientist. And even though those different dreams might have been very different, because you may think an artist has nothing to do with being a scientist, but she thought, hey, I like both of those things. And so she did both of them. So that's very inspiring to me to go after all of your interests, even if they're different. So that is how a famous Asian American and Pacific Islanders inspire me. How can you be inspiring to others? How are you inspired? And what inspires you to be the best version of yourself? Really taking this last word of the month, inspire, and kind of propelling it into next year and then years on after that. How can we continue to take what we've learned in second grade about love and family and caring for one another and kindness and really inspiring others to do the same even though we're not all together? Our quote of the day is by Elaine Chow, and she says, The pursuit of excellence is continuous process throughout life. Enjoy the pursuit. So pursuit means kind of like your journey or you're working towards something. So you are constantly working towards excellence. So enjoy that journey. Enjoy the struggle of trying to get things right or learn something new because that is where you grow the most. Our Better Together Challenge, and of course it's in English and Japanese for you if you want to check it out, is today link your decisions and the choices to your life, excuse me, choice, choices to your purpose in life. So this is kind of about being very cautious of your decisions. Every decision you make, of course, has an effect on your life. So think about the decisions that you're making today. Think instead of, oh, I'm just going to read this book because Miss Oz told me to. Think, you know what, I'm going to read this book because I want to be a better reader. And that can propel you into reading harder and better and more awesome books in the future, which can ultimately affect the rest of your life, right? So really being conscious of those decisions you're making today. Language of the month is Japanese. Have you been able to count to 10 by yourself yet in Japanese? We're going to be doing 10 slow high knees. So really lifting and focusing on that exercise rather than like really quick high knees. Counting to 10 in Japanese. Let's do it. All right. Ichi. 
me, son, she, go, Rocco, Chi Chi, Hai Chi, Ku, Ju. All right, guys, I hope you have a fabulous morning. I will see you later today. I love you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.